we are the faith that Jesus is going to return and find. Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott I thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure that you subscribe down below and go ahead and ring that bell that means you will be notified when we come out with new videos and new content well this message is not for everyone say not, not. For, everyone. for everyone Jesus said what he that has ears to hear let him hear mm -hmm. so Revelation chapter 2 verse 7 he said he that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches so he's speaking this to people that have an ear to hear which means why would he even say that unless there were people who didn't have an ear to hear you understand so there are some people say some people, some people. that have an ear to hear and there are some people that don't have an ear to hear who's this message for those that can hear those that have an ear to hear that's why I'm saying this message is for people who have an ear to hear it's not for everyone and some people will hear this message and they'll go why is it so obvious this makes so much sense to me why have I not heard this before and other people will hear it and go eh why is that what's the difference one person has an ear to hear the other one doesn't some people will never go listen some people will never go to where I'm talking about tonight they won't go there they're too invested in somewhere else so he who has an ear to hear let him hear what the Spirit saith yes. so you can be encouraged that if this is speaking to you and it's just lighting you up on the inside you have an ear to hear and if it doesn't this message isn't for you anyway Luke chapter 18 and we're not going to read all of this um, let's just go right to verse 8 we're gonna come back to this many times this evening this one verse of scripture we're gonna use as an outline for this whole message nevertheless when the Son of Man cometh shall he find faith on the earth now we've all heard this before we probably all have some kind of religious idea that goes along with hearing that verse of scripture well, I'm gonna break it down and show you what it really means are you okay with this yes when the son of man returns when when is the son of man gonna return in the last days couldn't you at least give me that yes. it's not it has has it happened yet no. has the son we're talking about Jesus here the son of man when he returns say when when, when is that a time frame yes. yeah has it happened no. no so we're still looking forward to it so when would be obviously an end time message so this message tonight is an end time message it's a last days message wouldn't you call that a last days message mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're talking about the last days actually the last of last days yes. when the son of man comes so when our ears should be open to this message that other people may not have been open to because we're closer to the when of the last day mm -hmm. Jude uh, verse 14 and Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these things saying behold the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. has that happened yet no. no so again I'm just trying to bring you up to speed here he was prophesying to and for a generation a remote generation that has not was not there at the time mm -hmm. that would be us when the Son of Man returns what do you think he was talking about he was talking about the Son was exactly what we said him returning who's gonna return the Son of Man are you getting this Luke 18 verse 8 nevertheless I tell you when the Son of Man cometh shall he find faith on the earth when we know it's at the end time right yes. mm -hmm. the Son of Man who's the Son of Man Jesus is the Son of Man it's the term he called himself very often has he returned yet no, no so it's still a when that is to happen yes. say it's a when, it's a when. That, is it is that is to happen who has not returned that means he must be somewhere yes. do you understand this yes. 
so we're right now our generation this generation I'm talking about is a generation without Jesus he has not returned yet as the Son of Man are you getting this yeah. you know how many people hate this message already you know and I don't I don't just come up with these messages and try to irritate people that's not my point I'm trying to get you to go somewhere where you haven't been or maybe your religious doctrine has kept you from going Acts chapter 1 verse 9 and when he he who he Jesus he the Son of Man right he the real Jesus was he the real Jesus we're talking about here yes. was he actual physical Jesus standing there talking to them yes. yes and when he actual physical Jesus the real Jesus the Son of Man had spoken these things while they beheld he say he, he. He was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight who did the cloud receive out of their sight Jesus, Jesus the real Jesus the Son of Man mm -hmm. up in a cloud into heaven out of their sight mm -hmm. and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel verse 11 which also said you men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Jesus which is taken up from you say from you, from you. into heaven are you getting this mm -hmm. what what Jesus this same Jesus say that this, this same, same Jesus. Jesus this same Jesus this Bible Jesus you got a problem with that no. this he's the real Jesus who he called the Son of Man right this same Jesus which was taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven has this happened when is this gonna happen in the future the end time right when the Son of Man returns when who returns the Son of Man the real Jesus this same Jesus we all admit that's not happened yet so where is this same Jesus seated still in heaven because it said look at taken up from you into heaven so when in like manner so uh, shall come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven mm -hmm. if he hasn't done that and we all admit he hasn't then he the real Jesus say the real Jesus, the real Jesus. is still in heaven is still seated at the right hand of the Father Acts chapter 2 verse 32 this Jesus has God raised up whereof we are all witnesses mm -hmm. therefore being by the right hand of God exalted what does being mean being is is present tense therefore this same Jesus being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost hath shed forth this which you now see and hear where does this say Jesus is by he's being by the right hand of the present tense mm -hmm. say present tense. present tense get it out of your goofy head that he's somewhere else He's not somewhere else that's where he is and what did he do he sent from the Father someone else Amen. to be with you forever even the Holy Ghost are you getting this yes. so who are you with according to these verses of Scripture that I've read right now who are you with Holy Ghost who's with you the Holy Ghost where's Jesus right hand of the Father the real Jesus yes. say the real Jesus, the real Jesus. you got to get this straight Acts chapter 3 verse 20 and he shall send Jesus Christ which before was preached unto you shall send right yes. verse 21 whom the heaven must receive until now I believe it's it's the Amplified Bible that says must receive and retain mm -hmm. but it still means the same thing the heaven must receive Jesus the real Jesus until say until, until until the times of restitution of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began so where's Jesus right now mm -hmm. he's in heaven until all things are fulfilled mm -hmm. which means there must be things that aren't fulfilled yet mm -hmm. is he doing them is he fulfilling them no he sat down 
if I'm preaching a different Jesus than the one you're used to hearing about or familiar with then most likely it's your doctrine keeping you from hearing what the Spirit is saying to the church in our generation I'm preaching the real Jesus actual Jesus Jesus that left Jesus that shall return mm -hmm. the same Jesus in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 11 mm -hmm. this same Jesus that I'm preaching shall return mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. if you receive any other Jesus it's not the real Jesus it's some made-up fictional religious super spiritual Jesus mm -hmm. people get upset with me when I say Jesus isn't with you he's not with you he's in heaven at the right hand of the are you in heaven not yet the same Jesus I'm preaching is the one that shall return are you okay with that yes. the one I'm preaching is the one that shall find when he returns faith on the earth are you here yes. when he the Son of Man comes again shall he find faith on that mean meaning he's gonna come and find something mm -hmm. and he's asking the question am I gonna find this or not which means he doesn't know you don't find something that you know about it's our main text here Luke chapter 18 verse 8 nevertheless when the Son of Man cometh shall he find faith on the earth we know who we're talking about we're talking about the real Jesus who's seated at the right hand of the Father who shall return say shall return when he shall return shall he find something mm -hmm. that he's obviously not doing anything about right now because he's finding it mm -hmm. you find something you didn't know about or didn't have he seems not to know in this verse of scripture mm -hmm. he's curious when he shows up again which he's going to do mm -hmm. what am i going to find when i get there mm -hmm. i'm going to find a bunch of flaky religious people most likely but is he gonna find someone who actually is in faith real faith the real faith has to be based on the reality of the scriptures not some religious concoction you understand yes. is this fun yet so he seems not to know he shall find it's the same Jesus who is not here but left yes. that same Jesus is gonna come and find shall return means he's disconnected from the faith that's going on if he's going to come into the earth and find it it means he's disconnected right say disconnected, disconnected. what do you mean disconnected meaning he's he's not in the earth doing it that's right. this is important this is a last day message this is for you who have ears to hear mm -hmm. what the spirit is saying so he's gonna find faith where on the earth meaning he doesn't have anything to do in the earth because he's in heaven then there's something going on in the earth can you see this yeah. who did Jesus send into the earth the Holy, the Holy Ghost so it must be a Holy Ghost faith the Holy, the Holy Ghost so it must be a Holy Ghost faith in the earth mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. <laughs> Is he going to find faith? This faith requires nothing of Jesus in heaven, otherwise, he would need to know about it. Say it requires, it requires nothing, nothing of, Jesus of Jesus because he finished it. We're going to get into this. I know this is a hard message for some people to hear, but if you can hear it, then you can go somewhere that other people can't go. This is exciting. You know, I'm going to use some scriptures, right? To prove this I'm not just making stuff up and saying things just to irritate people some people would think I do but that's not the point the point is we need to go play the reason you're irritated is because your doctrine is all goofy uh, Matthew chapter 8 verse 5 and when Jesus was entered into Capernaum there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying Lord my servant lies at home sick of a palsy palsy grievously tormented and Jesus say unto him saith unto him I will come and heal him mm -hmm. the centurion answered and said Lord I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only say speak, speak. 
the word only and my servant shall be healed for I am a man under authority having soldiers under me I say to this man go and he goes to another come and he comes and to my servant do this and he does it when Jesus heard this he marveled and said unto them that followed verily I say unto you I have not what I have not found so great faith when the Son of Man returns shall he find I have not found so great faith what's he looking for this kind of faith and Jesus said unto the centurion go thy way and as thou hast believed so be it done unto thee and his servant was healed in the self same hour now my question to you was did Jesus have to go there and do something did Jesus have to go to the servant's house and lay his hands on? He was willing to, right. because actually, well, Jesus was in the earth at this time. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. But did Jesus have to go there and show up and do something? No. 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 But faith worked without, listen, faith worked without Jesus going and doing something. Mm -hmm. Faith worked without Jesus going and doing something this is the kind of faith that Jesus is coming to find great faith or real faith speaks the word only Jesus did not have to go there if faith is working in the earth if Jesus is at the right hand of the Father and he's gonna come and find faith in the earth must of necessity that faith be functioning separate from him yes. Yes, are you seeing this? Yes. No Jesus action is required. Zero action from Jesus is required for faith to work in the earth. If he's going to come and find it working, mm -hmm. are you here? Yes. Have you ever heard this message before? Mm -hmm. no. Do we need to hear this message? If Jesus is gonna come and find this kind of faith working in the earth this message has to be preached people have to have their ears open to it that this faith doesn't require any action on Jesus's part to function it's a great message isn't it he spoke the word only the word says and I was healed real faith is one that Jesus doesn't have to come down and do anything for or about Amen. I'll say that again real faith is a faith that Jesus doesn't have to come down or do anything about Romans chapter 10 verse 3 for they being ignorant of God's righteousness going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith speaks we're talking about faith we're talking about real faith we're talking about the faith that Jesus is supposed to find when he comes mm -hmm. the righteousness which is of faith speaks on this wise say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven that is to bring Christ where down, down from above you got to go into heaven and bring him down don't say that with your faith that Jesus has to come down and do something says you don't have to have him do anything else for you but what saith it the righteousness which is of faith verse 8 the word is nigh thee where art thee now in the earth so the word is with you in the earth mm -hmm. in your mouth and in your heart that is the word of faith which we preach mm -hmm. does Jesus have to do anything for that mm -hmm. no it's the word in your mouth and in your heart mm -hmm. that's the word of faith which we preach do I preach this yes. yeah I'm preaching it tonight mm -hmm. does Jesus have to do anything about it no. no and if you're saying oh come down then that's some kind of other kind of righteousness you're trying to go about to do your own thing mm -hmm. religious righteousness real faith is one that Jesus doesn't have to come down and do anything about John chapter 19 verse 30 when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar he said it is finished 
say it is finished. it is finished what is finished by the way everything that Jesus had to do was finished yes. Amen. he fulfilled it he paid the price it's finished at least his part part portion there on earth mm -hmm. right then yes. he was obviously raised from the dead and sat at the right hand of the Father and sent the Holy Ghost and now is there seated making intercession for us mm -hmm. but other than that he's not doing anything mm -hmm. it's finished yes. so we're basing our faith on the finished work of Jesus he already bore your sins he already bore your sicknesses and he sent another so our faith is best based on what he's already done and our faith is ba based on the another that he sent I'm gonna say it again Jesus isn't doing anything now he's not gonna do anything for you he's not gonna do anything for you he's already done it if we have faith in the earth it will be based on what he's already done right yes. and he already sent the Holy Ghost to be with us so our faith will be based on what he's done and the Holy Ghost are you here yes. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words so pull up your big boy pants or put on your big boy what's the proper phrase put on your big boy pants probably mm -hmm. I wrote down pull up your big boy pants it's even better pull them up goodness mm -hmm. you need to stop praying and start saying mm -hmm. speak the word only and be healed speak the word only and be prospered because we know that when we speak in line with the Holy Ghost we're speaking in agreement with him the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words that's our faith we can expand in that faith and frankly it's separate from Jesus because he's gonna return to find it stop praying start saying the Holy Ghost who is God is more pleased by you saying than praying the Holy Ghost is more pleased what pleases God by the way without faith it's impossible to please him mm -hmm. either comes to God must believe that he is right mm -hmm. well we believe that he is the Holy Ghost is more pleased by you saying your faith than by praying I don't pray about being blessed I call myself blessed I don't pray about being healed I call myself healed mm -hmm. I don't pray about my youth being renewed what do I do I call my youth renewed I don't pray about being delivered I call myself delivered Psalms 107 20 says he sent his word and healed me mm -hmm. and delivered me mm -hmm. he's already sent it already done did it mm -hmm. then we need to say it real faith works without Jesus here doing anything coming here doing anything the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words that's our faith you get anything out of this Luke chapter 18 verse 8 nevertheless when the Son of Man cometh shall he find faith well we know what kind of faith we're talking about right mm -hmm. we're talking about faith that believes independent of him having to do anything mm -hmm. say my faith, my faith believes, believes. Independent, independent of Jesus, of Jesus. Having, to do having to do anything otherwise when he comes he's not gonna find any he's gonna find you waiting for him to do something nevertheless when the Son of Man cometh shall he find faith on the earth where are you on the earth, on the earth. where's Jesus gonna come to the, to the earth what's he gonna find you in faith I hope mm -hmm. what kind of faith the faith we've been talking about when he returns will he find you in this faith in this dispensation you have to be in this dispensation in faith for him to come and find you in faith are you here yes. what dispensation are you in Holy Ghost dispensation you and the Holy Ghost that's it mm -hmm. walking in faith you and the Holy Ghost that's it mm -hmm. walking in faith how do you walk in faith by speaking in agreement with mm -hmm. 
his word whose word the Holy Ghost's word what's your faith the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today when he returns will he find faith in the earth he's gonna have to find you with the Holy Ghost in faith mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him Amen. by speaking in agreement with his words does your faith please God today if you're walking with the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word now we look at the word faith and we go religion does your religion does your belief system please God if it's not based on all of those things that I've been talking to you about this morning or this evening whatever time it is then it doesn't please God because it's not in faith and it's not in the right dispensation I'm telling you this message pleases God because we're now able to begin walking in real faith true faith in the earth with the Holy Ghost which is exactly what Jesus wants to come and find you think he's gonna come without having it there to find I don't think so thank God he's waited this long mm -hmm. so we are the faith I hope you can see this we are the faith that Jesus is going to return and find people that have received the Holy Ghost that he sent walk with him as God in the earth today and by speaking words that's a faith mm -hmm. are you here it's a belief system are you with me yes are you gonna be one of those people that are in faith when Jesus returns yes we are that last day people and when he comes he's going to find us in faith well anyway Holy Ghost worship or worshiping the Holy Ghost as God is a faith it is a movement that is going to spread over the whole earth mm -hmm. and is happening now this is the faith you're in mm -hmm. he's the Spirit God he's the Holy Ghost he is God and we walk with him should you not worship the Spirit God yes. Ruach Elohim mm -hmm. and how are you gonna walk with him by saying words by speaking his words in faith it pleases him when Jesus returns who's he gonna find he's gonna find you walking with the one he sent speaking in agreement with his words in faith that's the Holy Ghost that we're worshiping he's God in the earth today everything D Jesus did was to bring you to this place of faith and walking with the living God in the earth nevertheless when the Son of Man cometh shall he find faith on the earth the answer to that is yes let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people have heard this message and that their ears have been opened that they may walk with you as the Living God the Spirit God in the earth today and we walk with you in faith pleasing you by saying words and we shall be prepared when the Son of Man returns he will find us fulfilling all that you've called us to do in our day in our dispensation in this generation in Jesus name amen in staying in line with our message tonight we're not gonna pray about our money say I'm not gonna pray about my money, I'm not gonna pray about my money. what are we gonna do we're gonna say about it amen. right yes. let's say this after me the blessing, the blessing of you, of you. Holy, Ghost Holy Ghost makes me makes rich and you add no sorrow with it I am rich I am blessed I am favored and all things work together for good for me in Jesus name Amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand your God in the earth today.